Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universe Hours 4 as the Great Horde going for the Golden Horde and the Gold Rush achievement in the new Mandate of Heaven expansion. However, um, there's some stuff I want to talk about. So first off, I'm back home. I had a good night's sleep and I've transferred my save file to my uh, PC from the laptop, so the quality should be much better now. There shouldn't be, you know, the laptop fan noise and all that. Also, I've had a good night's sleep, so I reconsidered uh, the tactical situation. Let's just unpause the game for one day because I just loaded it so stuff ha yeah, tends to happen. Muscovy wants a white piece. So I made mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes in the last episode. Um, one of them was not piecing out while we controlled their capital and the other was the alternate route would be piecing out Denmark as soon as possible um, while cancelling relations with Poland because that's the only thing they want. I'll show you. So for peace, I can offer them tribute. No, oh, they're not accepting anything. They would accept if I cancelled my relationship with Poland, but they would not accept my money. They would not accept my money. What if I give them more? Do you want that? No, they don't want that. What if I end my rivalry with Moscow? Nope. There's nothing they want. There is nothing they want. So, I need to piece them out. I need to piece them out now because Poland only has uh, seven enthusiasm, which means they are, they will li very likely sign a peace deal soon. So I need to sign and send a peace deal to Muscovy. Now, I can't take much because the war score is not good. But I want to cancel their alliance with Denmark. And I want to keep my alliance with Poland. I would like to take Vladimir, but that is too much apparently. I would like to take Kasimov, but this is also too much, apparently. Right, how much can we take? I can take this. And two, and one more. Right, let's just take the province. Let's take this province and the war, cancel the relationships. That will give us a short truce, and after seven years we can attack them again. I know this is a wasted war, but I was very tired and my, I made some serious mistakes. So now we have to salvage the situation. Let's send a demand. So we won, theoretically. Uh, we have a lot of favors with Poland, so we'll be able to attack Muscovy again. Uh, we cancelled their alliance and we got a province. It's not an amazing one. Hey, it's a province. Let's uh, raise it. And core it. You guys go back. Also, an important thing is that Muscovy lost their overlordship of, of Perm, which means I can now safely and easily conquer Perm. While well, I recover some troops, maybe. After I recover some troops. Also, I should be improving relations with Ryzen because, they, yeah, I can do that. So, I think it's time to attack Perm. Oh no, of course, we have a truce with them as well. They were in this war. So we'll attack them once uh, our truce is over. For now, you guys go home and recover a bit. Guess I could go for some mercenaries. Or use my estates for extra manpower. Can I do that? Could support tribes? No, I can only do so every so often. Can't do that. Are they loyal though? Yes, they are loyal. Manpower is recovering. And I can invest in Diplotech. That would help me with the, the you know, liberty desire of Ryzen, but that's not a big problem for me. Now I'm going to have to defeat Uzbek at some point, but this is not a pressing issue. As you can see, we only require stuff from Muscovy and Uzbek now. And it kind of means we can be less hasty. We don't need to be in such a hurry anymore. Oh, also we're making money. I should reduce army maintenance. No, we're only making money because we took stuff in the peace deal. Well, of extension, being cored. Or exhaustion, very high but going down. I guess I could boost stability. Yeah, let's do that. Go to plus one stability. That'll give me cash and stuff. I could even go to plus two. Uh, I want to have low piety, so let's lose prestige. Don't care about that. Low piety gives me cash, gives me manpower and cheaper technologies. 
Okay, people are beating up no guy, but we already have everything we want from them. I would gladly beat up Perm, but the truce is still a bit too long. So, now that we're finally home, I can increase the speed of the game, because this computer will handle it better. Poland, thank you very much for your assistance. Wait a minute, this is what... Uh, return to the old ways. Moral of armies, raising power gain. Till 78. Now, uh... Goods produced modifier. Do I get a lot from the goods produced modifier? Not a lot. I guess I could do that. The morale of armies will be helpful in at the beginning of the next war with Muscovy. Although that that loses me quite a lot of cash. I guess I could fire an advisor too. Wait a minute, maybe I can get rid of a diplomatic relation. Defer military access. Yes, of course, we don't need that. Castle military access, let me see that again. Georgia, Poland, Ryzen, Uzbek and Timurids. I would gladly cancel my royal marriage with the Timurids, but I can't, I can't cancel it. It would cost me a lot. And yeah, they're dissolving. I don't need them for anything. Hmm. Civil war to boot. Traveling minstrel. Oh, free stability. You know what? I'm going to buy it up to plus two and then use this event to get it to plus three. Because having free stability is so, so convenient. Hmm. They're oh, right. Um, now we wait for our manpower to recover a little bit. Can I, can I get some of these? How many do I need to get anything? Vassal, simulator, rival, I didn't do that. Should have done that. Large city. I guess I could do this. So, um, that gives me splendor points. I, I still haven't figured this out properly. But this is a short achievement run, so... I don't have to get too much into it. Truth of Timurus has ended. Truth of Nogai and Chagatai. So I could theoretically attack Nogai. Don't really need to. They have nothing I need. Kazan. Uh, still have a truce with them. But next year it will be over. So I can just take them over then. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Some more land will be useful. And we'll raise it. Our truce with Kazan is over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Army maintenance up. So let's see if we can get some um, thing from the tribes. Their loyalty is too low for me to do this. Oh no. It's too early. I can only do this in three years. That's okay. Have a good general. Yeah, we're taking loans, but that's really not a problem. I could convert something, but it's not necessary. It's a pity we are Muslim and not Tengri. We would need to go further east to be Tengri. Right. Don't really have manpower, but I think I can attack them safely. No one would join. Um, doesn't really matter what the war goal is. Let's go! Can I catch them? Yes. We have bonus morale from the event that we accepted, which is going to come in handy. No. Mm. I need to leave some troops here. There's not a lot of troops, but I need to catch their army. Where are you running to? Here. And then I can split this army around and control all their territory with this. What's going on? Oh, that's just my subjects. False alarm. Alright, we wiped them. Theoretically, I could, I could vassalize them, but I'm having a little bit uh, of trouble keeping my vassals in line. They are getting liberty desire, so vassalizing Kazan would not be a prudent choice. So, Muscovy. No allies. We are having some serious trouble with manpower. Is there a capital fort here only? Yes. 
only a capital fort. So, uh, this much would be sufficient. Actually, we don't even need that because my subjects are there. Yeah, because then I'm going to do full annexation of you. And then we're going to raise the stuff and all that, because we're horde and that's what we do. No guy, I'll with Corson and Chagatai. Would they come to your rescue? Corson would for some reason. We've renewed the loan. Unfortunate, yet necessary. Hmm. I wish I could get more from gold here. Why am I getting so little from gold here? I guess I could increase production to get more money from it. Multi gold income. This gold income is very low. Why is that? Okay, now we can draw all of Kazan. Give me all your stuff. Not too much of an extension. Also, give me all your money. That will come in handy. Goodbye, Kazan. Who has liberty? Why do you have liberty desire? I can embrace feudalism. Uh, what would that give me? Well, I guess I'll do it. Oh, it costs money. I need the money. It would it would destroy the tech penalty, but do I really care that much? I guess I could wait. Mm. Although that would allow me to take better military tech. I'll think about it. I will think about it. For now, let us reduce army maintenance. Reduce military spending and raise the provinces that we just acquired. Mm. Yeah, raise province. One of points. Three. That's all of them, right? I think so. Now we're going to core start coring all of them. And here we go, and now I'm going to increase autonomy there as well, because I don't want to be dealing with any bloody rebels. And now I can embrace the institution for 192.73 gold. Um, it's just feudalism, but I guess I should do it. It's growing very slowly. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I will lose 120 diplo points. Really, they changed that. You used to be able to stockpile this. Hmm. I guess I can use it to develop a province of mine. Or what else can I use Diplo Power for? I could reduce war exhaustion, but it's going down on its own. I guess I'll do it. Okay, and I can also increase development a bit. Diplo goes for production, and production is useful for gold, so let's do it here. Okay, and now it's time to embrace the institution. Now my technology is much cheaper. And we can start moving towards a renaissance or colonialism. Uh, in the meantime, I am now able to take the diplotech and the military tech and another diplotech if we so choose. Why not? 5-3 is not imbalanced. I need the next level of military. I need it a lot. Okay. We have become... Seriously? We have become a great power. I didn't expect this to happen so quickly. This is weird. I shouldn't be higher than Poland. They, they could crush me if they wanted to. With no trouble whatsoever. Matthew Doro, trade league with Genoa Luca. Eh, not worth it. No guy? Muscovy is forgetting claims. Good luck with that. Actually, I should be forgetting claims on them as well. I have a lot of spy network strength. Support rebels or fabricate claim. Actually, if I supported rebels. Let's see, I haven't done this for a while. Mm. Increase their chance of making progress towards an uprising by 10% each month. No, they don't have any serious rebels. Let's just get some claims. I want Kasimov. 
Oh, I have that already. Don't really need anything else. I think Spy Network gives you some bonuses. What's in the country? What does it give us? Not sure. I'm not sure what it gives us, but it does give us something. Maybe in siege battles? Ah, I guess we'll see at some point. So Corson, where's Corson? Here. Are you big and strong? Not really, but I don't want to mess with you right now. I need to recover my manpower. Nobles demand increased pensions. Lose stability or lose cash? I don't lose cash. Stability is very, very important. Tribal conquest against Tabristan. Tabristan, where is that? Down here? Oh yeah, sure, I guess I could conquer you. That wouldn't be too difficult. They have no allies and they're small, but their provinces are well developed. Let's go down there. So what is my most developed province? 17. Well, I guess we'll have a big city when we take... No, Muscovy is 17 as well. Moscow. This is an 18. I guess it increases development to get the, the Splendor stuff. But I think I'll save it for another campaign. This is a shorter one. So apparently, I can attack Tabristan now. And I think I will. Won't give us much, but it will give us something. And then I might attack no guy. Might not need to worry about Corson. Manpower is going back up. Slowly. Men of science, lose piety, gain piety. I prefer to lose piety. Thank you very much. Piety can give you some bonus morale, but I believe the manpower and money and technology bonuses are much better. And I'm waiting to get this. Okay, a new core province. Hmm, this is a mountainous province. If I attack you in the mountains, I'll lose. Something is stirring. Our spies are informing us that Muscovy is considering attacking Tver. Interesting. So, if Muscovy attacks Tver, I wanted to take care of them myself. But then again, yes, that's really, does it really make a difference? Also, if I were to attack Muscovy, would Poland join me? Yes. Yes, they would, if they had, didn't have a truce. Theodoro? Hmm. I'd gladly conquer Theodoro as well. Who else is all allied with Theodoro? You know what? What if I attack Theodoro? Poland would not join me, because they're war exhausted. And all the trade league bits would join. Nah, that's not a good idea. Let's just wait for the truce with Muscovy to run out. It's not that long. Truce with Great Horde, 75, so that's four more years. I guess I could conquer Tabristan in that time, but I don't think it's prudent to do so. Yeah, Muscovy is attacking Tver. Uh, Alright, our heir is now an architectural visionary, and we lost the quartermaster. Could, mm, could make temples available. Not really that interested. What I am interested in is getting the next military tech before our next war. I guess I could inv I could focus on military. Okay, some calls are done. Our diplomatic reputation should be up. Lost some claims. Huh. Can't really help Tver, but at least Muscovy will be uh, losing some troops in uh, those wars. Should I do anything else? Tver accepted peace. Are they a vassal now? Oh, that's a pity. We'll have to fight another guy. Raised host has expired. Oh, we can raise another host, apparently. Let's have a look. We could, but we can't. But we could. I wonder, if I cancel them... Contribute warriors. You know, let's support tribes for extra loyalty. 
It's not a lot of cash. I'm going to raise host and ask them to contribute contribute warriors for some free manpower. They're still loyal. Now, what we need to do? What's their what is their influence? Uh, it's high. What we need to do now is find out where those horses are being built in production here and see if by cancelling one of them I would get extra manpower. Let's cancel one of them. I would get extra manpower. So I can just cancel all of them and get manpower enough to fill out those guys. And I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. Or should I have more cavalry? Should I wait for the cavalry to be produced? Did I get any money? I don't think I got any money. They were free after all. I guess I'll just let them be produced. Although, it might be better to have mm, to have infantry. Not for battles, just for sieges. Okay, let's cancel the remaining horses. I don't want... I mean, I, I can hardly support the troops that we already have. So let's not make that more difficult. Oh, wonderful! The Royal Major of Uzbek has ended. Didn't really want that to continue. So we need to cancel our alliance. Do I want a military advisor? I think I could do without one for a while. Our finances would certainly appreciate that. Also, I'm going to dissolve the alliance with Uzbek. I'm going to attack them relatively soon. Prospering times. Admin power, military power or diplo power. Normally I'd go for admin, but I want to get the next military tech level soon. I guess for that purpose alone I could use a military advisor. Lost conquest against Ryzen, improvements in production technology, inflation and admin power. Yes, admin power please. Speaking of which, I can actually reduce inflation. Let's do that. By quite a lot. And yes, we are actively losing money, but that's not a problem. Not really. Well, I was increasing autonomy everywhere, so... I had a bit of a, mm, trouble getting any cash from those people. But that would go. That will become easier later on. Okay, how long until the truce is over? Allied with Theodoro. Not gonna be a problem. Huh. Okay, let us... Should I just beat Theodore up when this starts? Local chiefs complain. Army tradition and loyalty of the tribes, or gain army tradition and lose loyalty of the tribes. Actually, I want high loyalty of the tribes because they recover my manpower. What's this? Can purchase an ability. Oh, cool! So we can get... Um, allows, allows state edict, feudal de jour law. Actually, I have not... I have not had any look at the state edicts yet. Where are they? Here? Government? Edicts, edicts, where are they? There should be an interface somewhere, I just don't know where that is done. Um, however, it is now time to end the episode, I will try to find the interface. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.